Hi there. This is a quick tutorial on how to put holes on a curved surface without using sketch planes. Sketch planes can be used to place certain sketches and geometry on a curved surface, but for holes what we're going to do is we're going to use the hole wizard and we're going to avoid all of that altogether. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select an interesting hole feature here. We'll just say number 2, great, and we'll just say 0.25. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to start placing the holes on my curved surface. I'm going to want three on the top, two on the bottom, two in the middle, and then another three on the bottom. Now it doesn't really matter where I place these because we're going to move them in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. You can see here that our holes have gone in, and our hole feature has created a 3D sketch and a 2D sketch. The 2D sketch is used to describe the hole feature itself. The 3D sketch is used to determine the hole positions on your surface. What we're going to do is we're going to edit that. Now, I want my holes to be in the middle of this first extrude in the middle of the second extrude, and in the middle of this third extrude. So we need to set up those measurements. To do that, we're going to create some center lines. Now, sketching lines in a 3D sketch requires that you keep an eye on this red axis, and for you to be able to change that axis using the tab key. Using the tab key, you'll see what directions your lines will go when you start to move them. It's important for the first lines to be at least pointing upwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, we're going to click once, uh, click again, and I'm going to click a third time. What that's done is that's created three individual points, two, two individual line segments. Now the distance between my bottom and top is two inches, so I want my first hole here that I created to be one inch. That'll put my holes right in the middle of that line there. Then well, instead what I can do is I can click on that point itself, click on that line, and I can say that that is 1.5 because I know the height of my middle feature there, it's three inches. And then I can actually say that there is also one inch. Okay, great. Now I've got my middle lines on my cylinders here. Okay. The next thing we want to do is we want to start sketching um, a placeholder line. And to do that, we're going to create some more center lines. And we're going to start with our first level position down here. Now this is important. See how my axis is pointing upwards along the y-axis and along the x-axis. I want to switch that so that it is only staying along the z and the x-axis so it's flat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to point this straight upwards. You'll notice that there's no yellow lines. That means that it's straight along that axis. I'm going to click once and hit escape. You'll notice that that line is now black. That means that that line is fully defined and it's related to the z-axis. I'm going to do the same thing along my other two points here. It doesn't really matter how long this line is as long as it's along the x-axis properly. And you want to kind of make sure that you don't hit any of these, these lines or these points because that'll mess you up. Alright, there's one. And there's a third one. Now you can see all three lines are coming up in the places that we want them. All right, I'm kind of going to cheat and I'm going to use this line as one of the locations for my holes, but you'll get the idea in a moment. Now, I'm going to place two other lines here, making sure that my axis where I'm drawing the line is flat. Draw one line there, and I'm going to draw another line out here. 
since those lines were flat along that axis, you should see that they all line up. I'm going to go through and create these little lines from this level. Actually, I'm going to create a straight line across. There we go. So you can see it's just a straight line through that. And I'm going to create lines for our third level here. You'll notice that my axis is pointing upwards. So I want to make sure that it doesn't do that. Great. Come out here and put that line there. And I'm going to come out again here. All right. Now you should see that each level has its own lines. Great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put down some smart dimensions. That way I can determine what degree around the, the curved surface I want. Let's say for this one I'll say 45. And to the other line, I'll say that's, uh, oh, we'll just say 50. Okay, our middle lines are okay, that's where I want them. And our bottom lines, I'll say that from each other, They're 90 degrees, and there it is, 20 degrees there. All right, that should give us some really interesting locations. All right, now that we have all of our lines where we want our holes, all we have to do is click on one of our holes, click on our line, and say, Coincident. Since our points, we'll do click on our points. Since our points are already related to the surface itself, we don't have to do that relation. Okay. I'm control clicking here to get both of these items. like uh, that one messed up here. We'll, we'll just move it around. Oh, I have both of those items selected. Just move that one around. Control click. Coincident. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing along these lines. What's happening here is um, it's making it coincident, but it's using the uh, the shortest route to make it coincident. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it around manually so that it's closest to that line, then make it coincident. There we go. So that it picks the right direction. Do the same thing with these points. I'm grabbing that smart dimension. Sometimes the smart dimensions get in the way. You just move them. Go, coincident. This one, coincident, and this one, coincident. There we go. Now all of our holes are along our degree lines and at our locations. Um, the reason this is helpful is if you decide that you want to change where this hole is around this curved surface, all you need to do is change this, this degree number and it will stick to that line and it will stick on the surface because it has those relations. Now we can go ahead and exit our sketch and our lines have now determined our whole locations. And let's say later you want to change the kind of whole feature it is. Let's say instead of number two we want to say number eight or More significant. Whoa, not that much. One half. There we go. And there you have it. Placing holes along a curved surface.